Father Rene Robert was a St. Augustine priest known for his love and compassion. He was killed almost two years ago by this man, Stephen Murray, a person known for having a troubled past. This is one of the first big stories I covered when I moved to Jacksonville, and it has always been on my mind. Stephen wrote me this letter from prison and asked me to contact his sister. He can't do television interviews at this time, but he told me his sister could help tell his story. I reached out to her and she agreed to sit down with me to talk about the man she calls her brother and the person we know as a murderer. Stephen Murray is a self-confessed killer who you've only seen shackled and in an orange jumpsuit. Did you think Stephen would be capable of doing something like that? I knew he was capable, but I didn't know how far he would go. Bobby Jean Murray knows him as her little brother. It's really the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life because I'm the one that's turning me in. In April of 2016, Father Rene Robert went missing. His body would soon be found in the deep woods south of Augusta, Georgia, nearly 300 miles from his St. Augustine home. I'm actually the one that contacted the police to do a well check on Father Rene. Bobby knew her brother was with Father Robert. She says Stephen met the 71-year-old priest through a girlfriend and he had helped them out many times. Father Rene came every time they called, whether it was money or rides or whatever, it didn't matter. There's Stephen before he took Father Renee. Bobby says Stephen was arrested before Father Robert's disappearance. She had pleaded with law enforcement to keep him in jail, a plea she and her sister had made over and over again. She says her brother had mental issues and a drug problem and just wanted him to get some help. But they let him go. And it wasn't just two days later, maybe, Father Renee came up missing. Soon after, Stephen was spotted in South Carolina trying to visit his children but the family of the mother of his kids wouldn't allow it. And he was turned away by her family, and, but he was in a car described as uh, Father Renee's car. A blue Toyota Corolla, but no one mentioned anything about him having a passenger. Stephen told investigators he had forced the priest into the trunk before taking him into the woods in Georgia and shooting him. He hates us all for taking Father Renee's life. Bobby Jean, her sister, and two brothers grew up in Aiken, South Carolina. It's where police would later find Stephen. He told me he was at home. And that was only one or two places. Bobby says her siblings hid pain behind their smiles. She described a home where abuse was common. She says Stephen stayed in trouble and spent most of his time behind bars. He did that most of his childhood just to get away from home. Um, I guess, you know, being incarcerated was his safe place. Stephen's safe place is now a Georgia prison. He calls Bobby at least once a week and writes her letters. She keeps this scrapbook in her home with have... newspaper clippings about the crime he committed. So you still love your brother? I do. And I'm sure you always will. I will. Before I left Bobby Murray's home, I asked her what she would say to Father Robert's family. She says they talked outside the courtroom after Stephen was sentenced. Even though my brother's still living, we still feel the same emptiness that they do. The only difference is we get to talk to my brother and, and I know they, they won't ever talk to Father Renee again. So you may be wondering, why did Stephen Murray kill Father Rene? Well, Bobby believes he just snapped. She says his mental problems were only made worse by his drug problem. Father Robert signed a declaration of life in 1995 that said if he was ever murdered, his killer would not receive the death penalty. Stephen Murray is serving life without parole.